Alright folks, welcome back to another budget gem or budget bust. Have a different type of amplifier for you here today. Um, if you notice, I've been doing a lot of big, big Class D amplifiers um, last several weeks. And I've gotten some people that have been requesting, hey, show me some multi-channels. So, I went as budget as I possibly could get. And what we have for you today the dual XPR82D. Um, believe it or not, some of you actually requested this amplifier. Um, for starters, I picked this amplifier because um, one of you out there, uh, name's Rob Lamb, said, uh, texted me and said, hey, I saw this at Walmart. It's an amplifier that's got a 600 watt max rating, but it says it's CEA rated. You can see right there at 80 watts by two, and it's 59 bucks. And I said, oh, I gotta pick it up. And then I kind of did a little sneak peek at this amplifier when we did the sound cube video, and some of you put in the messages, hey, I wanna see the dual eye up on the dyno. So, we are gonna unbox the XPR 82D today, and we're gonna slap it up on the uh, amp dyno, and we're gonna find out, is this CEA rating for real? or is dual full of BS. Um, so we're gonna keep them honest and find out what do you get for 59 bucks. So let's unbox the amp, see what we get in here. Okay, you open it up, you get one box, get the next box. I've already peeked in, so otherwise this would have been sealed. Uh, first thing you get, so this does come with high-low adapters and includes the Allen keys, so you already got like Four dollars worth of parts right there. Not bad. Um, get some mounting screws. And get an amplifier. We'll uh, check that out in a second. And two manuals. Uh, yeah, okay. So um, you get the manual in Spanish or English. So instead of having a bigger, thick one here, Dual said, you know, which one do you want? So, nice. Don't usually see that. And of course, dun -da -da, one really tiny amplifier. I mean, look at that. I mean, this thing is, this thing's puny. So, but big power in a little package. <laughs> we'll see about that. That's usually um, first bad sign is how tiny something is but then again I mean this is a different time of of day for amplifiers I mean they're getting smaller and smaller and this is a class D so and it's not exactly high power I mean 80 watts by 2 RMS um, at 4 ohms and max of 240 watts rated at uh, 4 ohms bridged so you really don't need a huge amplifier but let's take a walk and see what's walk around the amplifier and see what you get here for all $59. Okay, along this side of the amplifier, we have our power terminals and our speaker outputs. And I, I gotta say, you know, Dual must not have realized that this is a $59 amplifier um, or that it's only 240 watts RMS because they kind of really went overboard on this side of the amp. Um, for starters, you have a four gauge ground and power connection. And I mean, this isn't like a BS marketing four gauge like you sometimes find. I mean, this is a four gauge reducer. It fits in no problem. So <laughs> it's a legit four gauge power and ground input with a 25 amp fuse. <laughs> you know, I mean, you wanna go overkill with four gauge wiring, knock yourself out, but uh, Eight gauge will probably be enough, and you're not gonna have any problem squeezing it in there. So that's nice. Normally, at a $59 amplifier, you have um, spade terminal connections. Not here. Um, the other thing is too, you're gonna notice um, it says here blue for power, red for protect, but there's no light anywhere. <laughs> that's because these power terminals themselves actually do light up. So when there's power, this whole thing will glow blue. If it goes into protect, this whole thing will glow red. So that's really cool. I've never seen that on a $59 amp before. Um, these two 
for your speaker and outputs, here's your left, here's your right. Uh, these actually take all the way up to 10 gauge speaker wire. Um, I had no problem getting 10 gauge in and again, probably overkill. For 80 watts at four ohms, you probably don't need any more than 16 gauge um, to supply the current, but Dual said, why not? We're crazy, let's, let's make this as ridiculous as possible. Well, Dual didn't stop the insanity on this side of the amplifier. Um, over here, you have all your settings. Um, again, I mean, this amp is tiny. I mean, my thumb almost goes the whole way across. And you get high inputs, a high input adapter, um, not just some type of adapter plug that goes in your line ins and give you a dedicated high, high input. Um, you have your RCA ins and outs. I mean, you don't even get line outputs on a SCAR RP uh, 2000D, but you do on a $59 dual. Go figure. Um, you have your gain setting. It has a variable bass boost from 0 to 12 dBs. Again, I don't care about bass boost. It has a high pass filter and a low pass filter, and you can adjust which one you want. You can go, either go full range, like I have it set to right now, or you can go to high pass or low pass. So if you're running a set of mids and highs, you can turn off your uh, bass and you can just say, okay, I want a high pass and that's variable from 40 hertz to 250 hertz. Or if you want to run some subwoofers, just throw in the low pass and that's adjustable from 250 hertz down to 40 hertz. So again, I'm not used to seeing all these settings and adjustments on an amp less than 60 bucks. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you would like me to show you the guts. Unfortunately, I can't. I tried to do that, and I don't know if you can see it, but I really stripped out this screw here. Um, it was in there a little tight. Uh, here's where we find the $59 in the screws. Um, they used a really cheap sheet metal screw, and I can't get it out. So, sorry for no gut picks on this. Um, I'm sure inside it's hilarious. So. I'm disappointed I can't get in there, but. All right, nothing left to do now, but to slap up this XPR82D onto the amp dyno and find out exactly how much power this little tiny amplifier actually produces. Uh, I don't know what you think. Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the going around the amplifier, I mean, I think it's crazy so far, so. The insanity might continue and this might do its ratings or dual might be full of BS like some of you out there think and uh, it's going to fail miserably. Um, this is tied for the cheapest amplifier I've ever put on a dyno. So let's see what this one's got.
All right, folks, final thoughts here. The Dual XPR 82D. You know, rarely an amplifier comes around that just makes me smile and giggle like I'm five years old again. Uh, and this one does it. So let's just start off with, yes, absolutely, as you saw in the ratings, budget gem for sure. Um, again, I mean, think of the guy who thought of this amplifier. Think of the, the amp designer. They're completely freaking mad. They're, they're insane. You know, who sits around and says, you know what, I want an amplifier that's smaller than a above average sized man's hand. Uh, <laughs> I want it to do, I want it to be a two channel. I want it to do uh, 80 plus watts certified. I want a CEA rated. Um, I want to put freaking four gauge inputs on the thing on a 300 watt total amplifier. I want power. I want power LEDs on the terminals instead of an LED light bulb. Um, I want to put all the like, all the tuning features you could want. Plus, I want RCA outs. And again, I want it super compact. I want to make it Class D full range. Oh, and I want to sell it for 59 freaking dollars. Who does this? That's insanity. Yet that's what you get with this amplifier. It's crazy. Um, and you know what? It doesn't sound bad. I had it hooked up to my Triangle Celius 202 speakers, which granted makes anything sound good. And the sound on this thing was fairly comparable to my Crown Pro amplifier. And again, this is 59 effing dollars. Like not $59 and it's used. Brand new. And it's tiny, it goes anywhere. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a budget gem. This is bananas. Uh, you, know, I am speechless. I thought for sure I was going to see a bust here. I thought I was going to maybe see like 23 watts per channel. I'm, I didn't. What's on the box is exactly what you get. Only you get more. <laughs> Look at this thing. You could fit this anywhere. You know, if I had some cargo shorts on, I could slide it in my pocket. Granted, it'd be like a Costanza size wallet, but nuts. Absolutely nuts. You got a motorcycle you want to put this on? Go ahead. You want to stick this under your seat in your car? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Crazy. I like this amp. You know, if you're if you're in the market, you don't have a lot of money to spend. You want an amplifier to run some mids and highs in your car. You only want to do two channels. Dual XPR 82D. And if you want to run four channels, hey, they, they sell a big brother to this, the XPR 84D, which is a four channel. Probably equally bonkers. And they sell that one for $82. That's nuts. So I know a lot of you out there make fun of Dual. I can't. I can't on this one. Good job, guys. And that's uh, that's it for me, folks. Uh, I'm gonna go back to plugging this thing. <laughs> Just keep giggling all the all for the rest of the day. Um, thanks for watching. I got some more amps to test. I'll see you next week.